I'm now going to log in so that I can review my itinerary and submit my reimbursement claim. I'm now in my IMEX account and I need to click on the itinerary and reimbursements tab. Here are the instructions which you can read carefully to make sure you follow all the steps. You need to review your itinerary here. These are your hosted nights. So for this example, we have the buyers hosted on Tuesday and Wednesday. If you're happy with this and you don't need to amend any nights, you can move on and submit your travel details for reimbursement. If you do want to request some extra nights, then you click on amend my itinerary. With this example, the buyer is going to ask for Monday because they have been accepted for the corporate education on Monday. So we're going to choose from the drop down of nights. You can see there are various options depending on what you need. This is invite only education, and you can add a comment here. And then I'm going to request Thursday as well because this buyer wants to enjoy Frankfurt an extra day, and they're going to check if IMEX will allow them to be hosted. So that's an exception to the rules. That night's not normally hosted. So this buyer is going to try and see if they can get that night hosted, which will then have to be approved by IMEX. Once you've written your comments and you've chosen the night, correct night type, you click Submit. We then need to wait for IMEX to review these nights and let us know if they've been approved or declined because they are hosted nights. If you are requesting own expense nights or adding in a fam trip, those nights don't need to be approved by IMEX, so you will be able to just immediately continue. I would now receive an email from IMEX once my nights have been reviewed, either accepted or declined, and that email will tell me to log into my IMEX account and review my itinerary. So here I am logged back in and I can see that the Monday night has been approved by IMEX because IMEX have invited me and accepted me to the corporate education. So that night is approved. The other night that I requested, the Thursday, is declined because Thursday night would not be hosted by IMEX because Friday there is no uh, IMEX show. So that is a night that I am just going to do at my own leisure. So that's fine. I've seen that IMEX won't host that. I'm leaving on Friday anyway, so I'm going to go back into my itinerary and just change that Thursday night to booked by myself and paid for by myself. So I'm going to click Submit again. Excellent. And you'll see I've changed Thursday to my own expense, night booked and paid for by myself at um, the IMEX hosted hotel, and that's automatically approved because IMEX isn't booking anything for that. So I can now continue on to submit my travel reimbursement. Now that I've amended my itinerary, and I'm sure that the itinerary matches my flights and the travel details that I'm going to submit, I'm going to submit my travel details for reimbursement. Here I need to make sure I read all the T's and C's, the terms and commitments, and the reimbursements explained section, and uh, agree to this. And I need to put my name as per my passport. In the payment details section, this will depend on where you are based. You will either be paid by WISE or you will be paid by bank transfer. If you are paid by WISE, we do not need your bank details here. You will get asked by WISE those bank details post the show when we're ready to pay you. So I'm going to search for Spain because this buyer is based in Spain. They will be paid by WISE, so please make sure that you save no reply at WISE.com as a safe sender if you are being paid by WISE. We don't need your bank details at this moment. WISE will send you an email post-show when we're ready to pay you and we'll ask you for your bank details then. 
Now I'm ready to submit my travel details. This buyer is flying from Barcelona to Frankfurt and back from Frankfurt into Barcelona. So I will only need to put in one flight here. If you are doing indirect flights, you would need to put two flights here. In this section, you can see it asks you if your intermediary is paying for a part of the journey. This might be the case for some of you that are doing found trips. So you would click yes. And for this buyer, they're clicking no because they are flying directly and they are not doing a found trip and paying for everything themselves. I need to input the PNR number, which is the reservation number for the flight, the flight number itself, the date I'm departing, As you can see, the time has come up. The system has been able to find that flight from Barcelona into Frankfurt. So I'm going to click Submit. And that flight is right here. I know that that's all good to go. So I'm going to move on and create another travel record for my departure. Now I'm putting in the flight from Frankfurt back into Barcelona. Again, I get the question about if my intermediary is paying for this. If it's a found trip, it might be the case for you. If it is not a found trip, you choose the travel type again and again put the PNR in, the flight number, departing Frankfurt, and the departure date. Excellent. The details have come up so I can submit. Next, I need to choose the currency in which I paid for my flight. This buyer is in Spain, so it would be Euro. And then the claim amount. Here, please make sure you use a decimal point, not a comma. And then we need to put in the proof of payment. So you need to upload your documents. These should be in PDF or JPEG or can be an email. I'm going to upload a second document as well. The documents that you're uploading, you need to make sure that they have your name and the price of the flight and the full itinerary so that we have all of the details and so that we don't have to query this travel claim. Now that I've uploaded my documents, I'm going to click Submit. And I am all done. You can see right here the green message here. Thank you for your submission. If I go back to itinerary and reimbursements as well, I can scroll all the way to the bottom and I can see right here, this wasn't here before, that I have submitted my reimbursement successfully and that the last things that are remaining are for IMEX to review and then approve. So that's it, everyone. I hope this helped you all and we look forward to seeing you at the show. Thank you.